Welcome back to Bad Down Gaming. My name is Micah. My name is Jay. And I can't believe it's Kentucky Route Zero again. It's Kurz. We're back. We are back. I thought it was going to be years. Yeah, so did I. I thought like it was going to be at least 2017, the rate it was going. 2017. But no. The world, think about it. In 2017, the world will already be ended. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? It's the last year. The last year ever of all time? Yeah. Well, from where? Where? What told you that? World War Three. No matter who we get, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. All Go right, ahead. we're sick, so we're sorry. <clears throat> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I am not sorry. Starting Act Four. I'm not sorry. Oh man, I'm excited to start Act Four. Here we go. Last thing that happened is we got on a boat with an elephant. No, Mastodon. That was That's right. One. Oh, okay, I get shit. it. I That's what, what makes the there. noise. I see what they did there. Oh, it's mechanical. What's going on? It's a mechanical mastodon. I often wonder what's going on in Zero. Yeah. Okay. 5-4. Content backlash. General wear on the gestural gear mounting apparatus may result in undesirable play between teeth in the context and history state machine gears, causing stuttering, slippage, resetting, skipping. I'll be well. Okay, what do you hmm. want your voice to be? I guess it could be slippage. If left unresolved, gear slop can gradually grow, can gradually throw limbs oh, well, out of alignment. I gotta change his voice, because look, he's wearing like board shorts and like he's got a hoodie on. Blending motions <clears throat> and decontextualized gestures. See also sections 1.8, general troubleshooting, and 5.3, gesture context. Troubleshooting. Uh, gesture context. Hmm. 5.3, gesture context. All gestures happen in a context. The set of preceding gestures, the overall orientation, and extended variables such as time of day and interior affect gear angles. Uh... Oh, like... Oh, it's the cool chick. Yeah, from the band. Yeah. Mm, that'll do, book. He throws the manual into the river? Yeah, I want to see him do this. Nice. Nice. I, my no, God. no, my savior. My what? savior. Our friend here is in a bad way. Any insight? Oh, let's see. Time to put that mammoth out to pasture, Will. Oh, I feel certain it's, she's got a few trips left in her. If only she had a more capable surgeon. Sadly, mechanics are in short supply down here. I think the setting is too romantic. Scares him off. And what brings you down to the Echo tonight? I always end up here eventually. Weird, but okay. The river's like that. It always has been. We picked you up at the bureau tonight. Never seen you that far up river before. They know each other. Hope that doesn't mean you've been traveling on the Zero. Yeah, have you been there? The Zero? Oh, no, not me. This old river rat steers clear of weird highways. It is a weird highway, that's true. <clears throat> I've been traveling this river for more than half my life, more or less alone. I think I've seen it change quite a bit in all those years, but can't say for sure. The water has a peculiar way of making a person forgetful. Some nights I remember a place, but it's full of strange new people. Some nights meet an old friend on an unfamiliar shore. I wonder which kind of night this is. Why does he have a mechanical mastodon? I don't even know. Half the things in Act this game. Four, scene one. I don't even know. The mucky, mucky mammoth. mammoth. Mucky root zero mammoth? Can mucky root zero? Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. Click her. Am I a woman now? Or is she just wearing his... Yeah, she's just wearing his jacket. It's Junebug. No, it's not. It's uh, Shannon. Was that her name? Shannon? Oh, yeah, yeah. Somebody's name was Martez Shannon. Martez Oh, who's up at the top then? Kate? Kate. Kate's new. Uh, you want to do the voice for Kate? Um, what voice should I do? I don't even know, man. I don't even know! Your sick voice. How's that cold river spray treating you? <laughs> I've done that voice before. I think we have. We like have. The old lady that the. Yeah. There's so many voices in this game that we've done. How 
how's that cold river spray treating you? There you go, that's good. I thought I saw you squinting. It's hard water, you know. Hard on the eyes. It still irritates mine a little. And I'm piloting a tugboat through it six nights a week. Don't be too shy to close them in public. Your eyes, I mean. People will just assume you're thoughtful. You need tea. So... Agrocybe agarita, definitely. Peppermint, dried spring agaricus, milk thistle, and dried reishi. Do we have Shannon's voice? How far are we from Dogwood Drive? Yeah. She's just kind of normal. Yeah, I remember. The echo is dicey tonight. Bad luck for you. Expect waves and diversions. Dogwood Drive is by the silo mail stop, but we may need to spend some time on the indirect route before we hit your stop, okay? Oh, on our way to the... And there's other business. Mail to drop off, garbage to pick up, and a few favors to execute, all dotted on the riverbanks from here to there. I hope you enjoy the trip on our little mammoth. Take advantage of all the amenities. Fresh air, cozy bunks, hot tea, the video room. There are some pretty interesting tapes down there, actually. Y- unusual, I mean. Weird. Watch out that VCR doesn't take your hand off, though. It's untrustworthy. What's wrong with the VCR? I could take a look. Oh, please do. I don't know anything about electronics. Maybe try a few different tapes. You'll get the picture. Ah, uh, no pun intended. Hey, do me a favor. Go ask Will how the repairs are going and if he needs anything. We're coming up on the next stop here. Just refueling and picking up a few things. I could grab a bolt or some wire or something. Whatever he needs. Well, eyes on the road. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. We'll check with Will now. And now we're here. Can we talk to the dog? No. Blue! Is it blue? You're my boy, Blue! We're looking at the water. Hello, mammoth. Woolly mammoth. What's the difference between a woolly mammoth and a mastodon? Uh, they're the same thing. Are they? Yeah. Let's find out from the internet. Yeah, we'll find out from the internet. I'll do Will's voice and search on the internet at the same time. Oh, God. You do it. Multitasking. That's you. We are mold and whiskey fed and... Oh! Wet gears. Wet gears? Probably. Who knows? First thing I tried, anyway. Down here by this little blue box, I took all the gears out and tried each one by hand and loaded them back in again. That took care of the grinding sound. But her trunk keeps doing that sparking, clanking, weeping thing. To be honest with you, I'm really, I'm not really qualified for this work. Kate's a friend. You know how it is, don't you? Kate was asking if you needed anything when we stopped. Hell, I don't know. Scratch ticket? I think she meant, like, parts, or... Ah, I wouldn't know if I did, (laughs) huh? How do you and Kate know each other? So... Ever walk through rolling farmland? Sure, along the highway. Along the highway, that's what I mean. Or smaller roads. Well, I sure did. I slipped under or over fences, and I walked barefoot with the seeds when they were just planted, and tilled the earth with my toes. Hey, I shouldn't. I should tell you where I left my shoes. Do you know I'm classically trained? Oh God! I can't do his voice. It's true. (laughs) What? Look at these long finger and pedal gripping toes. It doesn't matter. A minor in French literature earned me a position teaching. Are taught at Zola, to Zola at the university. Well, some shitty governor cut state funding for our department. I was demoted to mopping floors running wiring to the walls, or in dangerous places. I even operated the soundboard at the student theater. I left my shoes there, at the university. It's a protest. Walk without shoes for something important or tragic. <laughs> I ended up by the shore, and oh. soon I was drifting along the echo. It ran for a while above ground, then. It doesn't anymore, but I prefer subterranean waters anyway. Kate brings me along, and 
I record what I see in oh, here. Underground, interesting. I try to help with the maintenance. I drop off the mail and pick up the trash. On occasion, I take the helm. Anyway, that's all I remember. To any that's all I try to remember anymore. I listen to the river stories, and my own stories get fainter and fainter. Well, I'll just keep drying gears, I guess. Ezra runs up to Shannon. Okay, well, I guess we're going to stop there because, like, I don't think I could do Ezra's voice right now it's as <laughs> sick as I am. And I it's forget. perfectly timed. Um, can you tell us the difference between a woolly mammoth and a mastodon? Both roam North American wilderness nearly 10,000 years. I guess one looked more like an elephant than the other. Woolly mammoth on that side? Yeah. What's the difference between them? Like yeah, them? okay. All right, next time on Button Down Gaming, uh, no, we'll that's play the question more of the curse. Day. This time. What's the question of the day? Question of the day, gentlemen. What's the difference between a woolly mammoth and a mastodon? Okay, cool. Um, so, next time on Button Down Gaming, we'll keep playing curse. I'm really excited to be back in this world. Aren't you? I am excited to be back. Are you asking and then, Yeah, and then we'll have to, like, pause for a little bit. When No Man's Sky comes out, because we're totally gonna play that. We're gonna pop the play. Then we'll no come back. Way. All right. Well, now that we're afterwards, after the break, what's the difference? Well, hold on. We gotta say goodbye first. I did. No, we didn't. Yeah, I said Take goodbye. Time of... Okay. All right. Uh, woolly mammoth versus uh, mastodon. Okay, so. The woolly mammoth and the American mastodon both roamed North American wilderness until roughly 10,000 years BCE, although a few remarkable dwarf mammoths ma managed to hold out for a good while longer. What exactly sets them apart? Uh, there are several look. other species of both mammoth and mastodon. All right. Okay. Let's start with a quick look at the family tree. The group of land mammals specifically known as proboscis. Oh, God. It seems like basically they're elephants with hair and tusks, giant tusks. Contains living... These living elephants and their ancient kin. <coughs> okay, so elephants are more are far more closely akin to mammoths than the relatively primitive mastodon. So mastodon was like humongous. Elephant was like a mammoth. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Mammoths were like hairy elephants. Yeah. And mastodon was like a humongous beast. Oh, uh, I feel so stupider now. Yeah. You should. Bye. Bye.